as we welcome the overall Volunteer of the Year for 2023 and the winner of the prestigious Lulu Carroll Award, Margaret Buckley from the St Val's Club in County Cork. Talk to me about being involved in this club and, and how did you get involved in volunteering? Um, when the girls were training, I suppose I was blown. To, I couldn't sit down and be watching them. I said, you know, I'll get do something and get her up the footballs or something. And that's how I started off with it and I stuck with it. And now my job is cleaning the jerseys and looking after the girls, bringing the jellies and making the tea. <laughs> Well, all of those jobs are very important. But in, in terms of, of the girls, and I spoke, I know Breed, and I was chatting to Breed, and she says, like, all the kids, you mind all the kids, which is, hu is hugely important because for anyone as women, as young kids, that for somebody actually to mind them and look them so they can go and play their sport. And you never fell out with anyone either. That's a huge skill in itself. <laughs> no, I don't fall out with anyone. And I was um, Breed Stack had a baby there eight or nine weeks ago. So she came to training to last Friday week. So Margaret had the baby for training and that was it. <laughs> what has been the most enjoyable part of being involved with this club? Oh, everything in both is. I enjoy every minute of it. When I'm there, everything I do with them, I love doing it. That's why I do it. And has there been any job you haven't done in the club? Not really, no. <laughs> is there any job you'd love to do in the club? I'll stick with what I met with you. <laughs> Gino was saying he, he should sing Bolt Heady Quid. So we'll have a go now. <laughs> he made of do holla who ranks for courting a word of advice I will give unto you. Proceed to band here to the athletic sporting and hand in your name to the club committee. And do not arrange any part of your program till the carriage you'll see coming over the hill. And it's flying through the valleys and glens of Kilcorny came the most great sportsman, the bold Eddie Quill. For rambling and roving, for football and sporting, for drinking black porter as fast as you fill. In all your days roving, you'll find none so jovial as the most great sportsman, the bold Teddy Quill. Bridge, we, we got the sense fairly quickly from talking to everybody down there that night just how much love and esteem that you have for Margaret. Um, what impact has she had on your life? Um, I suppose she just, you know, you can see how much work she does and she'd inspire you to just get, stay involved. Um, I think with girls, you know, if you have any issues, you can go to Ma Meg's. Um, she has been, people can talk to her and that is re really important in, within any organisation. Um, you know, she just brings a bit of crack around the place. She's always upbeat, which, you know, puts the rest of us in good form as well. Um, and she's so helpful. Um, you know, whether it comes to minding the small heads on the sideline for people, whether it comes to picking up underage people where she has nothing to do with, to, with that team, she'll do it and drop them somewhere. Um, just to make sure that, you know, people stay involved and there's help out there. Um, and she's just been absolutely fantastic and... You know, she brings all everything to training. We're never hungry going home from training. Um, and I think, you know, we had a new trainer this year, Chris Hannon, and he was like, geez, this club is, Megs Buckley is the pillar of this club. She is just unbelievable. What she does is fantastic. So, um, you know, we're just delighted that she, she won this award and we're absolutely thrilled for her and for her family as well. So it was great. So congrats, Megs. And Bree's final one, again, much like Michael O'Loughlin, to nominate someone like Mags must be an absolute no-brainer. Yeah, I think, you know, it was probably something we, we have talked about for a long time. And I remember just flicking through Twitter and I saw it. I was like, that's it. I'm, we're, we're doing it. So um, I suppose we just gathered a few of us together to do it. And um, 
you know, I suppose I was speaking to Lynn earlier and she said the list that came in. So anyone who we'd asked to nominate, they did it. So that's that's just a sign alone that people wanted to do it for her. It wasn't just a ticking box thing. They really wanted Megs to win it. So um, for us, it just goes to show how much everybody respects Megs in the club.